Hi everybody, I'm Jennifer Angel. Welcome to this week's horoscope and planetary overview for the week of December the 11th. Okay, so it commences with the sextile planetary interaction that brings lots of opportunities and in particular creative options um, that can be very favorable for financial re remuneration. So, you know, more money in your back pocket, great time of the year, right? <laughs> to have that for sure. So you want to be on the lookout and watchful for possibilities and opportunities opportunities that cross your path now and once you see something that you resonate with don't dilly dally okay so just like and just as easily pass you by if you do nothing so you know if it's for you it seems like this is a custom made opportunity for me you want to get straight onto it and uh, straight away and put your hand up and say thank you that's for me Shortly after, also right at the start of the week, there's a new moon. It's in Sagittarius, so we love that. It's very optimistic. Let's not forget Sagittarius is the ruler of the ninth house, the house of the soul, which is great for love. And also it's a fire sign, a mutable sign. And I've got a Sagittarian rising, so I'm a little bit biased on the Sagittarians. Um, so, But it's ruled by uh, Jupiter, so it has that really optimistic feel about it. So the new moon means Sagittarius. So, And for it to be a new moon, it means that the moon and the sun are in the same sign at the same degree. All right. So this just further highlights possibilities and opportunities that, you know, just can provide you with different options to consider. You know, not everything is going to be right that crosses our path. Um, and it's up to us to go, yeah, does that feel right or, or not? Okay. Um, and, you know, with this new moon, the energy prompts us just to look a little further out, not just for now. So, for instance, you know, what is it that you see yourself doing in one, two or even five years? All right. Um, and what and what are you doing right now? Is that leading you on that path? Is it sending you in the same direction? Now, you want to remember that everything in life serves us in one way or another. We can't, you know, we don't always see it when it's happening. But when we look back, we can say, yeah, I can see how that event in my life changed my course. And wow, I'm so pleased that that happened. Okay, so of course, the challenge and the lesson there is to know in the moment that everything is going to work out one way or an or another. Um, very easy to say, a little more difficult to, to do, okay? So if you do feel stuck at the moment and feel like you're not heading in the direction of your dreams, then find a way to reframe it. You know, grasp onto that present situation of something that's there that you're doing. Like dip, dip deep and say, how can this, what I'm learning and doing now, or the people I'm associating with, or the situation, or it's allowing me to let go of stuff and it's allowing me to break through and that's going to help me to get to where I want to be okay so that's like reframing it very powerful exercise um you know you have to do the work and you know carve out some time to think about it but very powerful exercise okay because the big news this week is about Mercury. It's entering its last retrograde transit, thankfully. Uh, it's not like a real favorite transit of mine. Um, I, my printer is already not working. My computer is slow. I'm like pondering whether to get a new printer, try to fix this one. I do not want to buy an electronic device in Mercury retrograde. I've tried that before. It's never worked out well for me. So, um, you know, just back up your work. This does seem to me like quite a powerful retrograde. I felt it sort of kick in. I mean, we've been in the uh, shadow offered for a few weeks. It did feel and kick in about a week ago. Um, so, you know, you want to just get things done that you need to get done before uh, it sets in and that means you know any electronic devices back anything up uh, perhaps put a key in a lockbox out 
you know, out the back, it is in Capricorn. So in this sign, it's all about business. It's a great time to get organized because once Mercury does go into retrograde proper, we get through that chaotic storm part that we're coming into now, it's two, three, four, five days before and after. Um, so once it settles down into and, you know, like takes up residence and just feels comfortable there, that's a great time to get down to business. What a great time of year to do that, really. Hey, It's perfect. Um, so get your plans there. Close off this year. What did you do this year? What did you achieve that you felt good about? If you didn't achieve everything on your list, and uh, let's face it, if you achieved everything on your goals or your to-do list, then you you probably didn't reach high enough, okay? So um, if you haven't achieved everything, then you're probably right on, on course. So, you know, just use what you did achieve and build on that for next year. Planning is crucial. And Mercury retrograde in Capricorn is a perfect time to do planning for, you know, business, but in every sign, it's going to fall in a different house. So it's going to represent a different area of your life. And then, of course, when we look at your personal chart, and this is a perfect time to do the year ahead, you know, consultation, it's going to, it's going to mean something else and, you know, fall in a different area of your life again and interact with your birth chart placement. So that's really the the most powerful um, session that you can have right now. Um, okay, so use like this year as the starting point to kick off for 2024. Finally, right at the end of this week, over the weekend, the powerful energy of the sun will square Neptune. So a square is traditionally a challenging uh, astral aspect, not so much between the sun and Neptune. This is a good time to be mindful of your realizations and your expectations. Be mindful to be a little more realistic, particularly in the time frame of when you want things to come together because you know here's the thing you can do and achieve anything probably just not all at once okay so you want to work on priorities and Capricorn is it you know with the with the, all the energy coming moving into Capricorn and the Capricorn sun and uh, Mercury then this is a perfect time to just get yourself organized all right set your goals set your attentions then start visualizing the outcome as if it's already happened and you're there and you're excited about it um, and just stepping into that outcome through a positive mindset and that's where the power is okay and I have just launched a new program called mind body and soul alignment for abundance because here's the thing unless you you know unless you're aligned all the way through mind body and soul there's going to be a disconnect somewhere so we want to work on that and just get you totally aligned and then you're more balanced and there's not so much of a disconnect with the source energy which is the attraction energy so you want to step into that um, right now at this moment it's um, it, it's a one-on-one -on -one with me it's a, a six um, six to 12 weeks depending on how fast or slow you want to take that uh, program and uh, I am working right at the moment to put it into a online course so of course you know the price difference between doing it yourself and doing it with me is great um, personally, I, I've always felt that I personally get much more out of the courses I do when I do it with someone. But if that's right for you too, uh, so you have to be, you know, you have to be disciplined and just to do it by yourself. Um, so keep that in mind. All right, let's have a look at the signs. Aries, so new moon and energy Aries provides the space for self-development. Um and, you know, just development work within yourself. So you want to embrace your inner wisdom right now. This is a great time to review and reset your goals. So think carefully about what it is you want to achieve for this next year. Try not to put too much 
on your list because you're better at doing fewer things and finishing them than trying to do a lot of things and not finishing any of them, all right? And remember, you control your life, so make wise decisions and you can get advice from others, but the buck stops with you. You're in control, okay? Taurus, if there's been a delay with money in some way, then have the confidence that it will sort itself out. Just stay positive, Taurus. And you want to <clears throat> reveal your heartfelt feelings to someone close right now. And if you can do that, it's going to build a closer, you know, deeper relationship. Pay attention to your self-talk and just ensure every thought is a positive one. And I know that's almost impossible uh, to do and statistics say that. So when you get that self-talk that's not as positive, like immediately switch it over and go, you know what, everything is working out for me right now. Um, and this is just where I am now and I'm moving I'm moving forward and I'm making changes in my life, okay? Be kind to yourself, all right? Gemini, your personal life, including your love life, are both under the spotlight right now. And with the influence of the new moon energy, a sudden change to your schedule could highlight an opportunity with work, okay? So pay attention to that. Keep your eyes open, keep your ears open, and you can expect to have a discussion and just with someone. So just stay open to different options because sometimes things don't come through from the people or the avenues that we think they're going to, and sometimes they don't come through as we think they are going to come through. But in fact, they can actually be much better. So just keep an open mind there. Cancer, communication planet Mercury encourages you to have an intimate discussion with someone close, all right? Um, so there's a new start at work and, you know, get excited about this. Get excited about your future. Get organized, stay positive, keep an optimistic outlook, outlook and that's what will attract your dreams. But before you can do that, you have to get organized and know what you want before you can put the energy out to attract it back to you. Okay, makes sense? Leo, a business or work discussion can bring a situation to a conclusion right now and in a positive way. So, you know, so stay optimistic. Believe that things are going to come through for you the way that you want um, or even better, and they will. And that keeps your attraction power hot and high and, you know, abundant. Uh, and, you know, there's a new start with relationships now, too. And that's going to provide a lot of reassurance that everything will be OK. Things are starting to fall into place for you. So don't start worrying. Um, you know, the next sign, Virgo, uh, the worry ward. So, you know, <laughs> just stay positive. Um, you know, as always, you, you want to just think things through. Don't make any rash decisions and just be open to receive. Now, Virgo, a change in your life now can work out for the best. OK, so try not to worry. Don't let don't overthink things. Just let life take its course. Um, and also don't allow anyone else to put pressure on you to make a decision before you're ready, okay, unless there's absolutely a deadline that you can't miss, all right? Um, and a chat with a loved one right now looks very positive, particularly when it's around the home and to do with family matters. All right, so good luck with, good luck with that. Things are looking up. All right, now Libra, this is a busy time, especially as a creative project can get the go ahead now. So pay attention and focus on priorities while carefully planning your time to stay organized. Okay, so you've got to like just get that balance in your life. So get organized and also connect with people. And that a creative product just opens you up, it opens your inner wisdom up and takes you out of that you know, to and throwing and we know they do this and the pros and cons. And so if you get involved with a creative project, um, something to do with fashion or design is always good for Libra or music, that's going to shift you into a different space, all right? Now, a heart-to-heart -heart with someone about money can open a new door now too for your consideration. So, you know, everything looks great. Even though we are heading into a Mercury retrograde, 
everything looks great. Now, Scorpio, make time to network, Scorpio. You know, the connections that you make now can be beneficial for both your personal and business life. So watch out for those chance meetings and a synchronicity, a serendipity. I don't know if you've ever saw that movie. I love that movie. All right. So this time of year with all the holiday party invitations, hitting your desk and email, then you also can be lucky in love. So if you're missing, you know, looking for love um then it can come through but it's still up for you up to you to make the effort okay Sagittarius new moon energy in your sign Sagittarius along with motivational planet Mars indicates that you could decide to make a change in your life in one way or another okay so be mindful here trust your intuition tune into your instincts your inner your inner wisdom um, and if it feels right, go ahead. If it doesn't feel right, look a little deeper, all right? So you can receive a financial boost now to more cash in your back pocket. It could be delayed. We are moving into Mercury retrograde, but be patient. It's in the stars and it's coming through for you. So it looks like it's going to be a nice holiday, okay? And, of course, it's birthday time for Sagittarius still, so happy birthday. Capricorn, Mercury retrograde in your sign, Capricorn. This is going to give you a chance to just get organized, complete projects, have a clean out. That's what I'm doing. I'm a Capricorn. I'm having a spring clean at the moment. So I'm going through every single wardrobe and area of my home and just, you know, getting getting rid of it. And uh, this is what I'm doing. I've got four categories. Some things, of course, I'm keeping. Other things I'm selling. Some things are going to charity other things I'm giving away to friends, all right? So there's, oh, and, and of course, <laughs> some things are just going simply in the trash. Um, so this is a great time just to get organized, clean out, because when you clean out the clutter, it cleans out your mind. It sort of shows and tells the universe and source energy, okay, I'm making room, I'm making space to receive. I'm being open to receive. So um, get ready to make substantial changes in your life. But before you do anything, you want to have a conversation with your inner self. What is it that you really want? You know, the goals that you set for this year can if possibly change. You know, as you grow, your change, your new values and your goals also change. So keep that in mind. Aquarius, so solo time will give you a chance to get your thoughts together right now, Aquarius, which is necessary to move in the direction of your heart and soul. So you're highly creative, you're able to think on your feet, um, but it's also advisable just to be prepared. So, you know, if you're making change or thinking of changes, what direction do you want to head in? What do you want to do? All right. Good friends are supportive now, too. So, you know, just say yes if they offer help. Remember, the giver and receiver both receive. It's a gift. A gift is a gift both for the giver and the receiver. So if somebody wants to do something nice for you, just say thank you and be grateful for it. OK. Pisces, so you have a chance now to build a deeper romantic union with someone, Pisces, by allowing them to get to know you much better, all right? So you want to reveal your soul a bit here, reveal your inner secrets, reveal how you feel, all right? And, of course, you know, you want to don't want to do that with everyone you want to choose the people that you trust and you want to build that deeper relationship with whether it's a romantic union or a friend or a colleague you know but don't think about it for too long speak from the heart okay so um and if an opportunity crosses your path at work you want to act quickly on that keep in mind mercury is coming coming into a retrograde um, right through to the end of the year. So in that case, don't be concerned if something comes through, it's looking great, you're excited, but then there seems to be a delay. That delay can help you fine tune, cross the T's, dot the I's, get more information and it's going, it's going to happen, okay?
All right. So much love to you all. Thanks so much for following me. Um, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed and please share. I would really appreciate that. That would help a lot. Okay. So bye for now.